Oh, 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 no, 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 stop, 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 stop. Please, before you go, can you go and, and, and click like, thum, thum, thumbs up? Yeah, I was told that if you don't do that, nobody will see this video. It's a new thing. Please, can you do that for me? Click, before, we, before anything, just click on, yeah, thumbs up for the video. So that people will, YouTube, they do these things, I don't understand. If you don't do that, nobody, they won't show this to people. Please, can you help me out? Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, ma. Thank you, sir. Ha! Thank you, my man. Introducing Dr. Jackery Damages. Oh, welcome to the show. My name is Dr. Damages. We are coming to you from the greatest city in the world. New York, New York City. City! Yes, yes! New York City is so great, but it's in Washington, they say, that we're starting today. Yes! <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. We're doing this because we want to show you, those of you Nigerians especially, waiting for someone to teach them history, to get off your butt and read and watch history. It's happening every day. Take a look. I would come to him and punch him out. And so my mom, I would pay for I'm waiting for this, for trespassing on the Capitol grounds. I'm going to punch him out and I'm going to go to jail God, and I'm going to be happy. So <laughs> Ooh, that was Nancy Pelosi, the 82 year old grandma, speaker of the US House of Representatives. This has never been seen before. This clip has never been seen before. From January. 6th, 2020, when the then President Trump <laughs> threatened to march all the way to Capitol and declare himself the president-elect. <laughs> Nancy, Nancy, Nancy was ready to punch Trump and go to prison. Unbelievable. I know. That would have been the highest pay-per-view fight in the U.S. history. Sadly, the Secret Service stopped Trump from trespassing. <laughs> I said, damn, damn. So, so for those who love Trump and Trump news, it was another week of bad news for the former president. Yeah. Everyone wants a piece of him from New York State, New York City to Washington to the FBI and some tenants. You know, there is no place for the poor man to hide. Last week, Trump ran to the U.S. Supreme Court, hoping that the three justices that he appointed would serve him. <laughs> Unfortunately, they refused to intervene in his case with the FBI and the Justice Department. Unbelievable. Ungrateful fellows. Imagine all that Trump did for them. <laughs> Don't mind them, Trump. Don't mind them. Nothing will happen to you. If, if they come close, you can always come to Nigeria, you know? Oh, Juzo Kahlo has this big unoccupied mansion somewhere in Abia State. That you can stay there rent-free. <laughs> Open for you. Anyway, on our show today, just when you thought you had found a savior in Pitobi, a bigger savior remarked on the stage. Watch. <laughs> An appeals court in Abuja has dropped all charges against Mahazen Namdekano of the indigenous people of Biafra. Yes! The question now is, will Nigeria's Attorney General Malami allow him to go home? We will tell you what happened, what the judge said, and why Malami is finding new ways to keep Namdekano locked up. Also, ASO has called off its eight-month strike. <laughs> we will tell you what pushed them to do that and what they got after eight months of keeping millions of our students at home. Meanwhile, at the Chartered Accountants Conference, Bolatinubu did not show up again. <laughs> and this time, being that he was an accountant, that was where he said he made his money. <laughs> Yeah, right. People within the profession 
joined others at home to sing the only song they can sing. Mene, 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 mene. Ene, ene, groshi is a gori. I'm gori, I wanna give us. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, they want it, man. You are to our Lord. <laughs> also, oh, oh yes, oh yes, the national honors. Buhari gave out national honors to anybody. You know, if you know the right people, you... <laughs> Even the man who killed Nigeria to death got a national honor. But there was a big honor that was given in a small room. That one, that one was bigger than the one that happened in in the big uh, Abuja event with Buhari. I will tell you about that when we come back. All right, we'll be right back. So, ha, 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 ha. Also, you know, you know them? The Academic Staff Union of Universities of Nigeria has called off its eight-month-old strike. <laughs> Finally. Did ASU get anything close to what they wanted? Nope. <laughs> the government did not even guarantee them that henceforth, a professor in Nigeria will earn $1,000 a month. There's no guarantee. And nobody guaranteed them that someone will clean the toilets within the campus dormitories. No, nothing. So why did they call off the strike? Do you want to know? <laughs> now, some are saying it's because a court ruled against them and ordered them to return to work. Nah, I don't think so. That cannot be the reason. After all, after all, Nigeria's attorney general, Malami, does not obey court orders. So, nobody is obliged to obey court orders in Nigeria. Nobody. Here is the main reason Aso called off his strike. Watch. How many of these? Ah, with them. They will tell you, go and meet them then. Daddy, I said I was blaming Please, stop all this rubbish. Stop all this rubbish. What's you are going to be in bad I know what I'm doing. Just Yes. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. That was a student of the University of Ibado. Yeah. When a professor arrested her for skating. <laughs> I know, I know. Don't, don't, don't scratch your head. No, it's, it's real. Yes, idleness is a dangerous thing. <laughs> it's a dangerous thing. After eight months of being idle, that professor lost his faculty. <laughs> lost his faculty. That's what happens. Why was the professor arresting a student for skating? Why? Listen to the man. You are disobeying. Give it to me. Can I, can I? You can't say anything. But why? You can't. Can we just have a conversation? You Nobody can't. Yeah, I mean. You are irresponsible as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, professor of what? Professor of psychology? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sure this professor probably did all his uh, education along uh, Akure Ibado axis, you know? We <laughs> mean Fe Ibado Akure, you know, axis. I think ASU should have insisted in their contract negotiation that all their members must go abroad for two weeks just to see how universities in other parts of the world operate. Just, just go on vacation, look around, go to the campuses. Do you think this kind of professor can survive one week in an American university? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Do you think this one will survive a semester attending university abroad? I don't think so. <laughs> it's not likely. Eh? Now, if, if he knows that his students will grade him at the end of the semester and that their grades, students' grades of him will matter in his performance evaluation, do you think he will behave like this? Nah. He will be like, what is performance <laughs> evaluation? Now, professors like this, they make people think that all the Nigerian professors who, who could travel abroad to teach have all traveled abroad. <laughs> They've left. <laughs> the ones at home, they can't survive. I beg you. 
let me um, let them go back and teach uh, before they start uh, controlling traffic on the street. Because that's what will happen next. If you don't send these people back to school, they will start trying. <laughs> they will do anything to be busy. Unbelievable. Nonsense. Oh, yes. This is the biggest news of the week. Biggest, biggest news of the week. A Nigerian court has dropped all the charges against Namde Kano. Yes! <laughs> yes! The Court of Appeals in Abuja has dropped charges of terrorism against Namde Kano. I know, I know, I know. I was shocked too. I didn't know there are judges like that left. <laughs> I was shocked. Let me, let me pause so that <clears throat> it will sink in. Namde Kano. The court quashed the charges against the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Mazen Namde Kano. Crushed it. The three-man panel ruled that the federal government of Nigeria, <laughs> you know the Malami, when they say that, when it's about judgment and courts and law, it's Malami, violated the law by kidnapping Namde Kano from Kenya and bringing him to Nigeria. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I hope you are taking notes, all you law students. You know, the court said that the federal government of Nigeria did not follow due process. Can you imagine that? I'm like, oh, snap. <laughs> when did that start? <laughs> it went on to say that the federal government violated all, not some, all international conventions, hey, protocols, and guidelines that Nigeria signed, as well as breached Namde Kano's fundamental human rights. Hey, cha, cha, cha. I want to know the names of the judges. I want, I want them written down. In Namde Kano's case, the court said Nigeria violated the OAU Convention from the very beginning and the Charter of Human and People's Rights. Hey! I bet you, I bet you that Malami didn't know what all these uh, charters said. He probably he didn't know. Even governments that signed them on behalf of Nigeria <laughs> did not, did not, did not read these things. They just signed. <laughs> look at them. Look at Buhari. Does he look like somebody who read what he's... <laughs> anyway, it is the same thing with the contracts for loans that they sign on our behalf with China, with um, all this India and all these other countries. They don't read it. They don't care. They don't. They just sign. Nonsense. <laughs> anyway, it was a total smackdown. Yes, the court said that the federal government of Nigeria, they keep calling their names, that their action was an abuse of criminal prosecution. Hey! Oh, yeah? <laughs> now, if Malami had any shame, I'm saying, I mean, if he had any shame, he will have resigned the same day. But <laughs> the man is shameless. He's not just the worst attorney general in the history of Nigeria. No, from, from the beginning. He's a terrible human being. <laughs> I'm just saying. Terrible human being. Now, here are the exact words of the judges. I, I, I have to go. You have to hear this. They said, where a party fails to controvert a deposition by an opponent, the issue not contested is deemed considered. Hey! Check it out! In other words, <laughs> when the premise of an argument is wrong, how did Peter B say that? Yeah, when the premise of an argument is wrong, the conclusion is also wrong. Sasha! Tweet that out. Of course, of course, as expected, Malami had a different interpretation <laughs> of the judgment. He, he oh, you expect that. He said that Namdi Kano was neither acquitted nor discharged. <laughs> I know, I know. You know, you know what I think? It may be time for judges in Nigeria, as, as long as Malami is the Attorney General, 
It may be time for judges in Nigeria to translate their judgment to Hausa. So that Mal Malamik will read it and, uh, in his mother tongue. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes, we may have to do that. The day after the judgment, the National Can Security Council had a meeting in Abuja. <laughs> I didn't know that uh, there was uh, a group like that in Nigeria. Did you know? I, I didn't know. They had a meeting, emergency meeting with the president. Anyway, after the meeting <laughs> with Buhari, the National Security Council, remember that they exist. They get paid every month. And meanwhile, the whole place is in a mess. The National Security Council said that the dot could neither be created nor destroyed. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I was just kidding. I was just kidding. <laughs> but it sounds good. Anyway, after the meeting, they said that Nam De Kano had been acquitted. Acquitted, but not discharged. Isn't that the same thing that Malami issued in a statement? <laughs> he needed a cover to make it look like it's very important. <laughs> they said that they will take their time to translate the court's uh, judgment that is gested <laughs> over a bottle of Guinness and then figure out what to do next. I know. <laughs> meanwhile, 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 nobody is waiting for them to figure out what to do next. In the East, people are celebrating. Already, yes. Take a look. Ooh, celebration everywhere. Yes, one man in Enugu, <laughs> one man in Enugu set his car on fire. <laughs> As part of his celebration, he promised everybody around that the day Namde will be freed, he will set his car on fire. And he did that. Take a look. <laughs> Others were dancing on the street. Look at them. I tell you, Namdi is not out yet, but they are dancing. C can you imagine that? It is, imagine what will happen if Malami lets him out. Imagine what will happen on the streets that day. Kafune fune de toi. Hey. Fune fune. Oh god, yeah, yeah. Welcome to Olivia Court, located in the heart of Lekki, giving you more in every aspect, from comfort, convenience to centrality. With proximity to notable places such as IMAX Cinemas, Palms Shopping Mall, Admiralty Way Lekki, Banana Island, Olivia Court offers affordable luxury, redefined to suit our customers. Apartments available consist of studio apartments, one bedroom and two bedroom apartments, designed with premium quality and state-of-the-art interior. Olivia Court offers clean and serene environment, ease of access and so much more. Come experience luxury living on a larger scale at Olivia Courts, designed for the everyday you. Terra Developers, living the good life. National honors. <laughs> yes, yes. In case, in case you did not notice, Buhari recently gave out national honors to 447 Nigerians, distinguished Nigerians. Hey, yeah. They all dressed in their best attires for the occasion, even Femi Edition. Except for one guy. One guy refused to dress up. Watch him. <laughs> Did you see how President Buhari looked at the man? This is exactly how he looks at all of you who are out of line. <laughs> I bet you that the president does not know that there are people who are like that man. <laughs> different. I mean, different in a different way. <laughs> as always, as always, most people honored uh, were 
people with questionable characters. <laughs> but hey, who am I to judge? You know, Nigeria as a country has both questionable origin <laughs> and questionable destiny. Sasha, do that out. Yes. <laughs> now, writer Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie was named as the, one of the people on the list to receive national honors. But she didn't show up. <laughs> now, her people, they later said that she rejected the honor quietly. She didn't want to make any faults. You know, she didn't want to tell us why. But Buba Galadima, yes, that's him, that's him, said that 440 of the 447 recipients of the Buhari's Award should be in prison. Ha! Buba! Ha! Is Buba not supposed to be one of those people in prison too? <laughs> he's, he's, he's been angry for so long now. I don't wonder how he survives. Anyway, <laughs> I think that figure is slightly more, you know, more than 447. The award recipients, the one that made me know that the whole thing was a joke, was this one. Um, a woman who was alleged to have killed her husband to death. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, 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 yes. The man who killed Nigeria to death got honored. <laughs> Mr. Lawan received the second highest, I think that's what it is. Highest honor the country can give. The Grand Commander of the Order of the Niger. Hey, I know. Imagine that. Imagine that. I gave up on these national honors. The day I saw a musician, Sonny Okosun. Remember him? Begging for money during his last days for treatment abroad. I, I cried. I was shocked that the Republic of Nigeria will not take care of a member of the Federal Republic. Because that was, I think, that was the honor he got. Yes, in his greatest moment of need. What then is the point of the award? What then is the point of the honor? The good news is that most important honor bestowed on a Nigerian last week did not happen on that stage. No, it happened on a smaller stage. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. That, in that video, in the former president Olusegun Obasanjo <laughs> gave his chair to P2B at an event. He didn't see that. Did you hear what he said at the end before he handed the mic over and left the stage? Play that for them again. <laughs> yes. He said, my job is done. Yeah. My job is done. Here are some stories making headline news across Nigeria news over this week. As always, headline news is brought to you by Help Me Worker. Help Me Worker, the people who run errands for you in Nigeria and in Ghana. It's little not so long. I'm gonna make them last so oh, this little nuts of mine. Oh, oh. I'm gonna make them last. Oh, this little nuts of mine. I'm gonna make. Someone, someone is FaceTiming me. Someone. Hey! My grandson, Udoka, Udoka, how are you? Hello, Grandpa. Kedu? I don't know, man. What are you eating? Oh, <laughs> I have nothing left at home. I'm eating uh, haku, <laughs> kepam canel. That's all I have at home. Now I eat meal without meat. Haku without ukwa. <laughs> Mbano, that's not healthy. <laughs> what can I do? Eh? Can you please help me beg your father? Beg your father to help me. Things are hard. Things are hard. Prices of things up, up, nenoji. Up, up, up. <laughs> In dark, Grandpa, I'll tell my dad right away. Biko, thank you, thank you, please, thank you, Biko, Biko. These little nuts of mine. Dad. Hey, Udoka, can you cage? Grandpa is suffering in Nigeria. He needs your help urgently. Ah. Udoka, Udoka, how did you know he's suffering? We were just on a FaceTime call. 
He looks so skinny now. His stomach has shrunk and it's flattened. His stomach? Yes. Let, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I, you know. You know what? I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Look, that man, I give him money, he will go and use it to buy tobacco. And, and that's it. I give him money, he will go and give it out to his friends. And I give him money, he will go and marry a second wife and talk. No, I don't care. Whatever is happening to him. I don't, I don't care. I have a solution. What? What? Go to Help Me Waka and they will send him any food item that you want to give grandpa anywhere in Nigeria. Help me? Help me Waka. Hel really? Really, really. Help me, Waka, the people that run errands for you. Help your people. Go to Help Me, Waka, and order items for them. They will be happy. Please, help them. The first story is big. Woman detained over notes on Putin's parents' grave. Take him with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look at this story. Amazing. Imagine, imagine if the dead had that power to take whoever they wanted to take. You, you, you just woke up one day and see that the Nigerian Senate is empty. <laughs> Cleaners and managers will take over as a rock because many Nigerians will just tell their, to go to the grave of these people and say, parents, take your people. <laughs> Ooh. Release of Namdekano will spell doom for P2B, Labour Party's presidential ambition, says uh, former APC's presidential aspirant, Adamu Gaba. You know, that Namdekano's release will be the end of P2B's campaign. Uh, the first thing is to say, who told you? <laughs> who told you? Who is this Adamu of a guy, by the way? Do you know him? Why, why, he talks too much, he looks like. <laughs> who is he to tell us what will happen? Let us ask P2B himself, the governor. Yeah, Governor B, what do you think will happen to your campaign if Namdekanu is released. Let's hear him. This is the only one I can have. I've been for 17 years. <laughs> yes! You see? Forget about uh, Damu nonsense. Next! Oh! Chinese national turns Nigerian soldier with AK-47 rifle to his maid inside Lagos market. Take a look at that picture. Isn't that horrible? Isn't that terrible? Can, can a Nigerian do that in China? Now, <clears throat> I wanted to interview the man, you know, I tried. The man said to me, what thing concern you? <laughs> and so I could come out, you know, find my way. He said, what thing concern you? I get paid more than the army is paying me. Let's <laughs> oh, this is a sad story. Tears as hundreds of people attend funeral of crocodile in India. Hundreds of people attended the funeral of a crocodile that died in India. You see, I don't care what they worship in India or anywhere else. I don't care. All that I want to see is that they are going to space. Yes, as long as gravity works, I am good. <laughs> Can you believe that? Worshipping the crocodile. That's all the time we have. Keep following us on Twitter at Dr. Dr. Damages and on Instagram at Dr. Dr. Damages. Now, here is my concern for today. It's taken from page 419 of the book, I Am Smart, <laughs> by Zig Ziggal. Yes, yes. And it says, you can get everything in life that you want if you will just help enough people to get what they want. Hey! You can get everything in life that you want if you can just help enough people to get what they want. Until next week, I'm Dr. Damages. I diagnose. Yes, 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 yes. We did it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for supporting us. Subscribing. Thank you. I appreciate you. Holidays are coming. Help us. Just click support. So, so subscribe. Subscribe. That's all. That's all the gift we want from you. Subscribe. Thank you.